It is that time of the day, peeps, where I get to introduce you to potentially new favourite Australian or New Zealand artists, welcoming him into the studio for the first time, uh-huh. back onto the show, the incredible Co-Hooks. What What's good? What are we doing? What are we doing? What's no, good? good? What's good? Good to good? be here. Good to be here <laughs> man. I'm so pleased you came in. Because oh. I want everybody to get to know you again. Because of course I've we've had you on the night show for yeah. all my night walkers out there um, who know how this show goes down. Um, but to all the new people that are listening and for the very first time, welcome. Um, I want you to find your new favourite Australian or New Zealand artist with me. So, Cooks, let's start with what area and what crew do you represent? Uh, I'm from the city, Sydney city. Yep. You know, grew up around there. But to be honest, I kind of grew up around everywhere, so I don't have a real set crew. You know, I'm mates with pretty much everyone around. Yep. You know, west. East Lakes, all them areas and that. So I don't really have a set crew, but I'm good with everyone. You're good with everyone, good with everyone. Tell me, um, who's your label and who's your management team? Give them a shout out. Uh, You already know, we're rocking with the boys, Aura Entertainment, best in the bizzo. (laughs) Nothing better, you know? Yep, yep, yep. Tell me, um, uh, what, uh, obviously, um, what cultures, what cultures did you grow up with? So, when I was growing up, we had a lot of Islander boys, a lot of Koori boys from the city, yep. so very multicultural around here. And tu parles français? Yes. Si, you si. do? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You do? And I have some French in songs coming up, so... Yeah, you're going you're gonna, to you're gonna rap in French? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Massive, um, there's a massive movement in France. I mean, the, the hip-hop scene in France is incredible. It's huge. It's, it's huge. huge. Um, so, I think that's fantastic, because that'll really give you an international yeah, platform that's, as well. That's, that's the goal. So, I know you grew up in a Maori-French household, so um, rugby must have been an issue. <laughs> yeah, no, nah, back in the day, back in the day when everyone was together and that, but nowadays it's it's pretty quiet, you know, I'm just with one of uh, my parents, yep. so yeah, it gets pretty quiet, you know, but when I'm with the boys and that, it definitely gets hated when we're yep. watching the footy and Yep, that. yep, yep. Tell me, um, I want to give you a superpower to choose four artists from anywhere in the world to make an album with. Oh they must God. be alive. Yeah. Who oh, they is, have to be? They oh, have to oh, be alive. Oh, oh. Who is Cahooks' dream team? So I'll probably say Lil TJ. Nice. Um, Ooh, I say SJ OFB, you know. Who? SJ OFB, you know, that's okay. one of them drill groups. Oh, in the yes, UK. yes, yes, OFB, yes, um, yes, yes. Mel Bonnie, some uh, New York rapper slash singer. And wow. then I'd have to say, ooh, I'll go with my boy Hefs. <laughs> yeah, Hefs, shout I'll out Hefs. my boy Hefs. Tell <laughs> me, um, where do you find your new mood? Like, obviously, that's quite an eclectic. Mm. I was expecting the standard Kanye, Drake, J. Cole. Mm. Um, but, um, so you're listening to you're obviously um, listening to more drill music these days. Yeah, yeah. Um, I listen to everything to be honest. You know, it depends on my mood. Like from you know on the highway or something. Yeah. Chuck on whatever you know. Yep. But um, for the most part, if I want to get jeed up, you know, the classic pop smoke. You know. Yeah. Yep. 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 Um, yep. Yeah, tell no. me, um, tell me, are there any uh, plans for you to head overseas this year? Overseas, I mean, we've talked about trips to, uh, like, um, UK and that. We're not 100% sure if it's going to happen, but, you know, we're just doing anything we can to get more eyes on us, more more of an audience and stuff yep. like that. But um, we definitely got some inter, inter, uh, interstate yep. um, stuff coming up. coming up. Yeah. Tell me, what does your live show look like? Oh, shut down. <laughs> shut down. I mean, do you have all the boys on stage? I mean, is it a massive nah, thing or is it... When I, when I was nervous and I was starting, I would bring the boys on stage. Yes. It's a lot easier, you know, they're yeah. getting up everyone. Yeah. But um, lately I've been doing shows by myself and loving it, you know. Good. Because I didn't know if people knew me and then as soon as, like, I realised people, you know... Yeah, me, that, that's nice. Also, I'm not allowed to yeah, swear. No. <laughs> um, uh, so yeah, so well, that's that's really nice that you're finding your comfortability on stage yeah. and your stage presence and yeah, the mic yeah. technique and really starting to you know crowd work those control, that's crowd like control. Yeah, yeah, yes, and of course uh, that was one thing that was very difficult for artists that popped over the COVID periods because there wasn't a lot of gigging. Mm. So getting that experience, it's all just the amount of time you get on stage. It's like sort of a pilot getting your your exactly, your flying exactly. at your hours <laughs> up. You know, get um. get it, grab that mic and get on stage as much as possible. In saying that, I know. You've got some gigs coming up. Brizzy, I think, is yeah, next. Yeah, we got the You Know the Vice Festival, under 18s. It's gonna, we've got a big, big lineup. So yep. everyone is around Brizzy, Queensland. Make sure you're there. Yep. You're not going to regret it, I'm telling Excellent. you. Excellent. <laughs> Tell me just quickly, how old are you? Uh, um, well, my age kind of changes <laughs> every, every day, but... Uh, Oh, okay. I'm, 18, I'm 18, I'm 18. Okay, so you're 18 because yeah, I yeah, knew yeah. you quite. You're very, I'm yeah. just looking at you going, I mean, obviously, um, I think you're doing incredible um, regardless, but when you 
put it in that in the perspective that you yeah. know you've been popping probably since you're 15, 16. Or well, not really. I only just started. So, I so when, when when did you really start doing this? Well, I released due time in January this year. Yep. So, and it's and it's done very well. Yeah, it for has. My standard, anyway. So you weren't rapping when you were you weren't well, doing anything when you were younger. Well, um, I kind of started doing like little freestyle videos and all that with one of my boys. And then he posted me, like, without me knowing one time, and yep. it, like, got a solid amount of views, you know? Yeah. And he was like, oh, download TikTok. And I was like, oh, what's that? Well, I knew what it was, but I never never had it, you know? And yep. then I checked, and I had, like, 30K views or something. Woo! <laughs> and then we just kept doing it there, and I'm um, promoting ourselves, marketing ourselves. Yeah, then, awesome. Yeah. <laughs> Big ups to you. Here. Big ups to you. All right, listen, let's get some, into this track. It's called Due Time. This is Car Hooks, one to watch in 2022. Thank you so much come for joining on, come me. On. Yeah. <laughs> let's be go. Love, let's love. go. Shout out, shout out.